Hello and welcome. How are you doing? Next, I like to show you that how to adjust this Toyota Toyota VVTi engines this idle speed amount. And for that job, we need to look in that area where is this throttle body. And there is next bolt, but we need to look closer. And in that area, in there. There is this idle speed adjusting bolt, what is just in here. And for that adjusting, we need for first this 8 mm friends that I can open it, and then this hexa hexagon, this six corner tool. What is I saw that better? It is in here, it is that kind of tool, where is this six corners and with that tool and the size is maybe one or two millimeter this length and this bolt fits then directly in here. In that way. Good and let's go to go to look, look that closer. But what is there happening? There is this my adjusting area. And now now we have better view. And now this tool it fits in that hole in here. And then and then first step is to get this eight millimeter friends and first step is to open this locking bolt in that way, in this direction. Start in here and move in here. It, when it moves, then we can start to move that central nut in that way. And there is idea that when we rotate that in this, in down, in that way, then this part moves in here in this way, and we have then more revs. And in that way, if you have issue, in your car's engine that you have like 600 revs, you can little bit adjust that in this way, and then this idle speed is like 800. Okay, and I will show that how this adjusting happens. Normal way is that we rotate that in down, but then this locking bolt takes contact, and I need to again move that in this direction in that way. And when I open that, I move that locking bolt in here, and then when I rotate that allow tool, allow key, then this part in here moves down, not this much, but very little. And then when we start our engine, we can check that how much I can, I can rotate that is in down, and look, there is quite much this space what we can rotate. And then in other way, if we like to lower our, our idle speed, we rotate that our tool here. And then remember, final step is to can I move that in there like up. We can look in there is this small gap in there between that moving part and then this part. And when there is no any gap, then this is like in zero position. And when this bolt goes down, like in that way, it moves that my throttle body in here and idle speed becomes bigger. Okay, and final step was that, that I need to finally tighten this bolt in that way, that this bolt is not loose. Okay, and now this fix has been made, and the final step is to only test that how this idle speed works. And there are my tools, and thank you for watching that video.